Hey guys, Dieter Millhorn here out on Lake Wiley. We're killing the perch. I'm with Lee Huffman of Huffy's Guide Service. That's him back there in the background. Uh, anyway, yeah, he's a guide here on Lake Wiley, Lake Norman, Watery. He fishes around here a bunch. And uh, we came out today to shoot a video. Uh, we were going to try to catch, do a crappy video, a crappie video, not a crappy video, a good video about crappie, the fish, crappie, anyway, that's the guy that really confusing if you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, I'm out with him, we, we're killing the perch is what it comes down to. Uh, we've caught a few crappie and uh, we're killing the perch. So, here's what's gonna happen. Uh, he went live before me and kind of made me look bad, so I decided to get live on YouTube. So, anyway, we're gonna slide back here. Uh, and we're live on his Facebook page, so if you, what is the name of your Facebook page? Well, actually, you're on your personal Facebook page. I'm on my page. personal. Okay. But uh, I've got a Huffy's Guide Service Facebook page. First, I'll give you a shot. This is who we're dealing with, Huffy's Guide Service. And I'll end up putting a link in the bottom. You got one ready to go in? Yeah, give me just, just a second. We're going to show you getting set up. Basically, what we're doing is fishing little double hook rigs on the bottom. Right there is what we're looking at. That's a pretty good m amount of perch. There are a lot more in here, and you should see us catching some perch. He's live right there. There's the fish, there's live, he's live. Anyway, he's doing it the professional way with minnows. I'm using cut bait, I'll show you that in a minute. He's got a double hook rig, slinky weight on the bottom. He's putting it down, and if we're lucky. Shouldn't tell you what to say. Like we've been rehearsing this for the past 30 minutes. Uh, we catch a fish right away and you're very impressed because, hey honey, my wife's on there. <coughs> How you doing, baby? Sorry, I had to call. Hey, go. he's got a bite. He liked your shirts that you made, by the way. It says, thank you. Boom. Perch of Palooza. Now, I know you're going wild. You caught one fish, but let me show you something. Okay. We're slaying it. Underneath there are more fish. Look at this. I don't know how many we've got. We've got at least five. So we're doing really good and I'm being funny when I say five. Like I said, he's going live on his page here. See, look at this. This is like multi-professional. <laughs> anyway, these are perch, just so you guys know. That was actually his line where it went down right there. Caught the fish and that's it coming back up actually. So kind of cool. But that's what they look like. We're killing them. Uh, had to There's a good shot coming up of them. We're going to give you a second. Probably catch another one here since he rebate. Now somebody asked good to eat. Yes, they are good to eat. Um, we're kind of catching them for catfish bait more than anything. But the bigger ones we're keeping to eat. Uh, especially when you get the ones that are in the three-quarter pound range. There's enough of them to make a good little fillet off of. Really good to eat. Uh, we've got a bunch of the small ones that we're keeping for bait. So, yeah. Uh, <coughs> whisker sticks fishing. What's up, buddy? Uh, we got to get some of your whisker sticks this summer and get them on some rods to light some stuff up. Y'all check out whisker sticks. They make a really cool product for lighting up fishing rods. Very cool. Hang on. We're going to go back to... we got to put on the freak show. Then we'll get back to that question about the filming setup. <coughs> Pardon my cough. I've got the crud, but I don't care. I'm still out here in nasty weather. I've I seen a bump. Yeah. I've seen a bump on the rod. Put on the clinic. All right, come on. Oh, he lost one. He lost one. It's terrible. <laughs> he lost one. Yeah. We'll get him back. Now, don't be... No, oh, there we go. Don't be too proud to pick up my cut bait rod over there and just make it easy. That was pretty cool. Bam. Got him. Another one. Now, actually, we're to the point we're not even keeping them anymore. We have caught so many fish. Uh, we're in the 100 mark. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't even know how many we're in. And look what we're in. I mean, this is why we're keeping them. There are that many more stacked up down here. So, it's just stupid, 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 crazy fishing. We kind of bopped around. We started out this morning, and uh, we picked them off, and... Uh, we tried a few different places and we picked them off little by little, but here in the past hour, we've got on some schooled fish. You've heard me talk about these in videos being stacked up and frenzied, and that is what is going on here. These are stacked up. Frenzied, we've got the spot lock on, and puff, he is hooked up again. We're just gonna let the pitcher speak, folks. <laughs> We're just gonna let the pitcher speak. 
We did uh, mix in a couple crappy in there. Boom. Releasing them. Yeah, you can see this again where I dropped it, caught the fish, picked the fish. Yep. Good little thing here, sonar people interested in the sonar stuff. I know the thumbnail is sonar and uh, a little bit of cool information. But that's what the perch look like when they're feeding and frenzied up. Uh, we saw them earlier today and they weren't frenzied like this. They were stacked up, but they were not really, really crazy feeding like they are now. You can see his line going down right here. Bobbled in the middle, caught it, boom, back up. And that looks like, did you just drop the line back down? Yeah. It looks like it going back down right there. So, uh, it's kind of the way it works. These fish, and uh, David Club will get a kick out of this, the famous words of Captain Gus, uh, they're easy to catch and hard to find. And uh, we have found them, and we are catching. So, uh, there's a stack of them in here. There, uh, and I've told people from other parts of the country that watch this that are not familiar with them, um, they're a cousin to the striper. Actually, cut bait rod. Cut bait rod's going off. Hang on. I'll let you bring him in. There we go. But yeah, they're a nope. cousin. Losing? Yep. Okay. They're a uh, cousin to the striper. Uh, they're not actually in the perch family like the yellow perch that a lot of you guys in the north catch. But uh, they're fun. They school up just like stripers. A lot of the same feeding patterns as stripers, uh, feeding a lot of the same places. Uh, even their spawning is very similar. They make a river run uh, like the stripers do when they spawn. And uh, if you can catch stripers, you can catch these things. They're just a lot littler, so that's the only bad thing. Uh, somebody asked about the filming setup. Let me show you what I got going on, just so you know if you saw this. Uh, he has his phone right here, and he is going live on his page. For those that don't know, Dieter's live on YouTube. I'm live on YouTube. This is when we figure out all the, what all this talking's about. That's my actual camera set up with the GoPro with this new microphone to eliminate some of the wind noise this year. Did you get on another one? Yeah, I'm gonna see if this can come on the cut, but no. Nope. Oh, Another one. Yep. Killing them. Killing. Good time to be using them little bitty circle hooks. Little bitty circle hooks. That, that's definitely my my rig then. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's like a professional fisherman because he's a guide. I use circle hooks to make it easy and cut bait and all that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, it's really good fishing. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's a lovely day to be out here. There's not a lot of people out here. It's kind of gloomy, dreary, right. and uh, a little bit of rain coming down now. We're thinking about getting on the pain train Friday. All right, honey, if you're listening, just want you to be aware. Uh, they're calling for snow, rain and snow. Now, right here where we're at, it's going to be like a mix of crap and not that bad, but we're thinking about going striper fishing on Lake Norman. Uh, which is north of here and there's like it actually said on the weather forecast one to two inches of snow so it makes absolutely no sense to go fishing those conditions except when you're just stupid and want to get on, on the paint bait. train cut baiter there, there he is go. coming up out of the wall yep as you can see a lot Everybody of fish want to know what the noise is in the background a lot of fish you wasn't here a minute ago it's me live my buddy Dieter's with me. Yeah. So you can see him live on there. Look at this. Look, this is like really... People watching people. Nobody knows. <laughs> if you're watching that on YouTube, you really had no clue what just happened, but we had two cameras showing. Anyway, <sighs> I digress. Now, part of our fish were caught. Just so you know, hell, yeah. try not to fall in the lake. We were catching some using... Flip the camera. Just minnows. Regular crappy minnows. Everybody that hears the talk in the background, that's my buddy Dieter. He's live on YouTube. And the other part, Check we're using some cut bait. Dieter, so, fishing on Facebook. He's giving me a plug good back stuff. here. Look at this. It does a, a lot good, of, a good, it's a great plug. I really appreciate videos. it. videos. This one will be on there eventually. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what happens. You give a guy a t-shirt, and man, he's your one-man sales team. One fan. That's it. That's it. But anyway, uh, I will, uh, I'm going to jump off here for now. I just want to come on and say hey so that some people sitting in their office could really just hate themselves right now. No, it's actually, if, uh, if you're having to work, it's probably a good day to work. It's kind of cool out here. It's chilly. Same it's, thing. Uh, I'm going to go too. It's uh, just kind of bad weather. But yeah, if you have to work, today's a good day. 
But uh, I'm going to put a link once I put up the edited version to uh, Huffy's Guide Service. That way, if you're in the area and uh, want to hook up with a guide that can take you fishing on any of the lakes around here, he'll take care of you. Somebody asked what fish we were catching. I just saw that come up in the window. We're catching white perch. <coughs> Pardon me as I hacking cough. Um, I did help him find a couple nights. There. Uh, oh, wait. Let me show you this. This is what we were actually going to try doing a show on today was catching crappy, crappie, whatever you want to call them. And uh, we didn't get on to a lot of them. Uh, crappie wouldn't cooperate. I think, now, now think, let's just be clear on something. Let's just be clear for a second, okay? How many crappie did we catch? Three. Who caught the crappie? Dater. I just have to do it. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not the crappy fisherman. And actually, I seen a crappy caught on cut white perch. And it was on cut. Did I catch two on perch? I or was so. it? Okay, yeah. Say anyway. Two. I'm not bragging. I just we got lucky and found the dumb ones. While he was, ball, caught a bunch of fish. While he was getting the boat ready, I yeah. was uh, catching fish. So, sorry about all the talking. He was sighting off from all his stuff. So, anyway, that's what we got going on. Somebody was actually about to fish. These are white perch. Uh, they are a schooling fish. They're actually a saltwater fish that comes into fresh water like a striped bass does. Uh, and there's some little technical something name for those fish that do that. But they're landlocked now. And uh, we've got tons of them to make great bait. There's no limit, no creel limit, no size limit. So we can keep all we want. And this fishing rod looks like it's poking me in the eye, doesn't it? Oh, I got a fish rod in my eye. Oh! Sorry, okay. There's where the education part of this video falls off and the entertainment comes in so anyway that's what's going on i just want to jump in here and say hey and uh see what's going on and i don't know what that comment was i don't for, know what that one's for either uh let y'all guys see what's going on i'll keep you posted on friday if we end up trying to go fishing on the pain train as we're going to call it in the snowstorm we'll see what happens and uh appreciate all the new subscribers that i've been uh getting here recently thanks guys uh for a lot of you new people you've not seen a lot of live stuff from me uh because you're new to me and you think they're all edited videos but throughout the year there's a lot of my fishing lunacy that you'll be seeing so make sure you smash the bell as my son says so your notifications are turned on you'll be notified when any of these videos come up and uh yeah that's it enjoy it i'll put uh lee's contact information below there he is come see me sorry ladies he's married and uh, so, I, so you can't have him. I know every time I get somebody on the boat, you're always trying to get them. So, you know, what you found out I was taking, it was all over with, and you're just off to the next one. So anyway, Heather, if you're watching, sorry, another one you can't have. Anyway, that's it for now. I want to jump off here, and we're going to get some fish, go home, whatever the hell we're doing. So anyway, enjoyed it. See you guys soon.